I found a nice seat on this spinny thing um, in a nice place. I'll put some footage of what it looks like. I know the camera quality is not the best, but I'm getting an upgrade soon, so these videos will uh, look a lot better, hopefully. <laughs> Hello. So I had to move location as the wind wasn't uh, doing very good for the mic. But today I'm going to be talking about Romans 1. I'm reading through Romans, so I would really encourage you to read Romans 1 and 19 onwards. It's very good. Um, so this uh, kind of little sequence of the Bible talks about uh, people like you and me disobeying God and devoting their lives to things that are distant from God that you know, he wouldn't want us to live under. It is really easy for us to fall into sin and for us to stay there as well, as it is literally all around us in the world. Um, and it's, you know, vastly normalized. But just as easy it is to fall into sin, if we commit our lives to God, then it will feel so much better to be addicted to God's word. And it can sound very difficult to actually get into it and to start. Um, and definitely even to keep it going is hard because um, we will have trials through our lives as Christians. But the difference is that we have the strength of the Lord with us um, when we are Christian. Uh, that verse says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And the more joyful we are in the Lord, then the happier we will be in um, wanting to continue our walk with him. One thing though is definitely that joy is very different to uh, being happy. Um, being happy is kind of like, uh, you know, it's an emotion, but being joyful is like, a, it's a state of mind. You could be mourning, you could have the worst thing happen, but you are still, just as you'd be at peace, you could still be joyful knowing that you have the Lord and still rejoice in the fact that God has died for you and that you're able to even talk with him and read his word, let alone have a relationship with him. So yeah, I hope that encouraged you. Um, and yeah, Romans 119, I definitely recommend reading through that and then maybe seeing how that applies um, to your relationship with God and how you could better it and compare maybe the things that you do in your life with what you're reading in the Bible and see how that applies to you.